Hey, it's Jennifer. I'm so excited y'all are here. Today we are going to go through my Chanel lipstick collection. I have, let's see, I have a few. <laughs> I have a few Chanel lipsticks, but I just love a lot of their formulas and I really wanted to go through them with you and kind of just share with you which ones I have, why I like them, the shades, etc. And then also being able to just show you what are some wearable Chanel lipsticks for the fall, winter, etc. I said etc. already. <laughs> But anyways, let's get started with this one that I have on my lips. This is in Boy. This is the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash. This is the packaging, outer packaging you can see. It has this new, this is new packaging by Chanel just recently within the past, I think six to eight months. This is a reformulated Boy shade you can see here when I put it on, it's just a great, it's a great shade you can just throw on without a mirror. It really is. So, just adding a little bit more. And it has this really pretty kind of glossy look to it too, which I really, really love. So, this is the shade, boy. Okay, I just took that one off. We are gonna go in with this shade here. This is in Emotive. This is the Rouge Allure Velvet. Now this is a slightly different, it's a different formula for sure. Cool thing about this is you push and it pops out and that's how your lipstick comes. But it's more of a matte formula for really more matte. Uh, well, not matte, more creamy, I guess. This shade has a lot more peach in it. And I got this shade over the summer because I really wanted something really pretty peachy, but still neutral. This shade really did that for me. I just love how it's more neutral in nature. Again, don't need a mirror to really apply it. And it's just a great, your lips fit better shade in a peachy undertone. <laughs> so this is a shade Emotive here. This is the Rouge Coco formula. This is in your kind of standard Chanel packaging. Really beautiful. This is in the shade Mademoiselle. This is 434. And this has more of a blue undertone. It's really kind of a pinky bluey uh, neutral shade. I, I love a good neutral. <laughs> but I don't know, I sit here and talk. <laughs> you can see the pinky blue kind of coming out. It actually kind of looks good this is kind of burgundy but I love and I haven't used a lip liner y'all I've just kind of put it on my put it on my lips but I do really like this I think it's really just a good color sorry skippers over here looking out the window so if you hear them I apologize <laughs> but yeah so this is he's our golden doodle so this is the shade mademoiselle and it's a really it's a really pretty shade really pretty this is another Rouge Coco shade in Antoinette. This is 406. And this is definitely more brown in undertone. Oh, so me. I love a good brown shade, especially uh, for the fall and winter. Really gorgeous. So. These are so comfortable too. They're not drying. I, I really like I really like Chanel lipsticks. So this is Antoinette. It's a lot more rich. It's richer in nature and it's got this beautiful sheen to it. Ah, oh, I love this shade. Antoinette. So this is the Rouge Coco Shine in I'm going to, I'm probably going to say this so incorrectly, but this is called a uh, Desinvolte, Desinvolte. Y'all look at this shade. It's like this rich corally color, but it's not, it's pigmented, but it's glossy pigmented. Does that make sense? So this is kind of a swatch here. I'll show you. I'm 
almost like you want a tint to your lips, but you still want the, sh the color, right? And you can definitely build it up a little bit, but this is really comfortable. It is that glossy kind of just comfortable wear. I really like this. Like I said, Rouge Coco Shine 97 Desenvolte. Oh, this shade, y'all, is the Rouge Coco, um, the standard shade that I have and the two other ones that I showed you. Just a great lipstick, like normal lipstick, <laughs> creamy and lipsticky, right? So this is in Rouge Coco 446 Etene. I think I said that right. Etene, standard packaging. So this, y'all, look at it. So beautiful. I'm going to apply it here. One moment. <laughs> so this is Etene. I feel like this is just a gorgeous holiday party shade. I mean, it just is so pretty and I really, really love it. I do have I do have a lip liner that does go with it. This is in Seduction. This is a lip liner crayon by Chanel. It is this color here, and I'll just kind of go over it. So that just gives it some beautiful definition and just makes it pop a little bit more from creating a little bit more bit more of a, a a definitive line so this is in like I said seduction here I do have two more lip liners which I will swatch for you this is the natural lip liner you can see here and yes these lip liners I'll be honest they're not my favorite um they're kind of tough and the packaging isn't that great so that is that lip liner there and but I use them I use them they're, I mean they're not bad but they're not like the best lip liner you've ever ever had um and then this one is in rose delicate delicate maybe uh this is a super hot like super like pink <laughs> super pink it's kind of like a bluey pink undertone so that's really pretty too especially for the summer spring summer Anywho, I am so glad that y'all are here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really love showing you kind of the swatches and being able to see for yourselves if that's something that you would probably enjoy because that's helpful for me when I'm like looking at getting something or purchasing something. I always kind of want to see what it looks like on someone else first. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. So I thought this would be helpful for y'all. I hope y'all are having a wonderful week and let me know your thoughts like which ones did you really like which ones do you think would suit you um which ones do you have that i may need to check out definitely let me know don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure that you click the notifications to make sure you don't miss the latest and greatest from me thank you so much again for watching and i will see y'all in my next video bye y'all